Hi, I'm Anthony Bryan, Product Evangelist for Jscape. In this video, we're going to talk about managing triggers with Jscape MFT Server. Triggers are a very powerful feature that allow the server to listen for events and respond with actions if conditions are met. They let you automate a lot of things like routine file transfer tasks, encryption slash decryption, or compression slash decompression of transfer files. Here we are in Jscape MFT Server Manager, and we're going to click on the Triggers node. And what we're doing today is adding a trigger that sends an email after file upload. So let's click Add and give the trigger a name that describes what it does. Send email after file upload by J. Smith. And the event type is going to be file upload, because that's what triggers the trigger. and it's enabled. And click Next. Here we have trigger conditions, which are defined as a logical expression used to filter events based on event properties. In the example there, you have a trigger which is fired at 5 a.m. or 10.30 p.m. As you can see, there are a number of variables. We're going to choose username. There are also a number of operators to choose from, such as equal, does not equal, less than, greater than, and so on. We're going to choose equal. There's also a number of constants, such as strings, integer, or boolean. The username J. Smith is going to fire our trigger, so we'll enter that. Now we can test the expression. So we want the trigger to fire for specifically the username J. Smith. Should it fire on the first week of the month? No. What about someone named John Smith? Test it. No. We want it specifically for only the username J. Smith. Test it. Yes. Now you can take out all these other variables. Test it again. And it fires. Step three of three we come to trigger actions, which will execute when the trigger is fired. The action is send email. So we're just going to put in the information necessary to send the email. And in the subject, why don't we use a variable? File upload by, here click the add variable and select username. And then we can do the same thing for the body. Customize this message. File uploaded by user username variable at client IP. Now this trigger is for a specific user, but we can use the variable and then later on copy it and use it for another. So let's click OK. All right, our trigger's created, so let's click Apply. Now you'll notice there are other tabs for triggers, recent, ones that have fired recently, settings where you can add global variables by clicking Add, or limit concurrent triggers to preserve valuable CPU time. And these are all the actions that are available. You can see here, send email is the one we used. And then these are the functions. Now remember when I said you may want to reuse this trigger? It's easy. You can just click copy and then edit and change the specific things that you need to. For instance, in that trigger you change the logical expression username equals to something else. In this video, we showed you how to set up and manage triggers, specifically one that will send an email when a file is uploaded by a certain user. For more information on Jscape MFT server, please visit jscape.com.